Hello and welcome back to Battletech. Okay, I wanted to visit the store, but it looks like it's not available right now. So we're just going to go ahead and launch the contract. This is our campaign contract. Um, so story. I haven't actually seen this story. I haven't gotten this far into the game yet. So uh, here, here we go. Welcome to Panzer Commander Beard. Lady Arano and the Arrestration Army are already fighting on the planet's surface and have been for weeks. With the aid of House Decimus's uh, ground support facilities, Miss Mayor will carry your lance through Panzer's orbital deb debris field and drop you on the surface. Tell us more about the debris field, Lord M Madeira. Madeira, it's a holdover from the Amaris Civil War. There was a great battle in orbit over Panzer, and most of the wreckage is still there in the form of dense field of particle uh, particulate material. Navigating the field unassisted would be a formid formidable task. Thankfully, we uh, will have the Spaceport's Control Center on our side. It'll be able to guide us in and send tugs to assist us if necessary. You feeling okay with this, Samire? Oh yeah, Commander, no sweat. With the kind of navigation support I'll be getting from ground control, I could take us through the field with my eyes closed. I do wonder if there's more deep lore um, involved with... Uh, with um, Panzer, if this is a, a place that's had quite a lot of history involved. Let's keep going. What happens after we're on the surface? Lady Arena wants your lance behind enemy lines while she leads from the front. You will harass the directorate's supply train and target valuable military hardware. She already has a target list drawn up for you. Hold that thought, L Lord Madeira. Commander, I'm getting a tight beam communication from the planet's surface. It's Lady Arano, and it looks urgent. I'm putting it on screen now. Big simple, you could have arrived at a better time. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. Our forces on the surface desperately need your help. With the support of House Decimus, we're making our final push against the Directorate's last major stronghold. Our forces are fully committed to the attack, and we're pu pushing them back. But the Directorate just seized control of Panzer's only remaining spaceport. With it, they'll be able to call down reinforcements at will. I need someone to take the spaceport's control center away from them. Uh, that someone is going to have to be you. This means that Miss Mayor will need to carry you through the debris field unassisted. I hope that her skills are up to the task. Well, this day just got more interesting. I think I actually have done this mission. My bad. Uh, I'm afraid there's more, Alexander. I've just received a message that Lady Centrella, uh, there's been a major incident on Perdition. It looks like a terrorist action, a chemical attack against the port city of Harlow's Landing. Initial casualty, uh, casualty reports suggest some 11,000 dead. Well, that sounds bad. You have a talent for understatement. <laughs> Gods, this is a nightmare. Now, have the Torians responded? In predictable fashion, Protector Calderon uh, is claiming that the attack was an act of Davian, Davian uh, aggression. Lots of words I can't pronounce in this game in violation of the Ares uh, conventions. He's already calling it the Perdition Massacre. For their part, the Div Davians have denied all knowledge of the attack. Their denials will fall on deaf ears. Calderon won't believe anything that Hans Davian has to say. This is going to accelerate our timetable. We need to retake your throne before the situation gets any worse. If a war was to erupt between the Federation and the uh, Concordat, it could easily spill into the Reach. And we can't afford that kind of chaos. And we'd better get moving. Quite right. I'll brief you more fully when you reach the planet's surface. This will be a rough drop. Uh, bring your best and may the gods grant you victory. We will be counting on your success. You heard the lady, Florentia. Better guess. Uh, best get to it. Mayor, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trust that you've got this. Do me a solid and try not to scrape the leopard's paint on your way down. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm pretty okay with this formation. We've got our uh, heaviest hitters. Um, if I had another 55, I might swap out the uh, for the blackjack. The blackjack is starting to feel um, a little bit dated, or at least a little bit underweight compared to the rest of the team. Still, it's uh, you know it packs a good punch. So. Um, you know, one can hope that it will carry its weight. Um, Shadowhawk, a Centurion, two Centurions. I'm pretty okay with this. 
I do wish I had at least one more, you know, big mech, uh, like a 50 ton or a 55 ton. A third centurion, honestly, wouldn't be a bad idea. I would be cool with a third centurion. But you can't have everything you want. You Just most of, you know, at least not without scraping it off the battlefield. So more battles, more mechs, more salvage, more mechs, more mechs, more mechs. And uh, more mechs means more battles. And off we go shooting beams and, and rockets. And I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So if this is the mission I'm thinking of, I have done this one. Um, there may be a sprint in this one. We'll see. Commander, I'm glad you made it. Navigating Panzer's debris field unassisted is no small feat, even for a small ship as, uh, or sorry, a ship as small as the Leopard. Miss Mayer is to be commended for her skill. No sweat, Lady Urano. Just don't ask me to do it again. You won't have to. Restoration strike teams have already joined forces with the second decimus of fusiliers um to engage the enemy on multiple fronts we have them at a disadvantage but if they manage to bring in reinforcements we're in trouble i need you to engage the enemy locate their dropship ship control center and destroy it without ground support their ships won't be able to navigate the debris field the directorate's troops on the surface will be cut off and our combined forces will sweep them away i'm sorry to interrupt lady areno but we've just intercepted a transmission from the advanced uh Koronak. they they're requesting navigational aid it sounds like they're on their way down if that ship lands our bid for the system fails big simple i need you to take control take the control center out before the corner uh, Koronak touches down the second can help with that we have a leopard full of engineers heading your way commander i'll need you to clear us a path to the tr spaceport security headquarters take out their vehicles and make us some breathing room and we'll turn their turret defenses against them. That's the plan then. We'll use the turrets to uh, cover your approach. As soon as we have the turrets under control, the directorate will begin firing on them. Use that as a distraction or engage the enemy to protect them. It's your call either way. Good hunting, okay, so, um, this mission is rough. It is rough to say the least. Um, basically, we're gonna have to fight an entire army. Um, a lot of them are light mechs, so it's not a big deal, but not all of them are light mechs. Oof. Um, so I don't really necessarily, is this the, yeah, this is the short range missile. We've put a glitch in the long range missile, and I think that that was a good idea. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm not gonna do a jump or a sprint what i'd want to do is um actually get a shot off now no i guess we um we just move our units we don't get to engage with them yet well we'll build up some evasion that's our that's our move commander i'm seeing directorate srm carriers on radar recommend engaging them at the long range they'll take you apart if you let them get close yep no i got gotcha. you Honestly, I might back up a little bit, but we have one on uh, Insight, so let's go ahead and take that one out first. And there's no, it doesn't have any evasion. We actually have two Insight. So let's go ahead and take that one out. I'm not going to split any shots. I'm pretty sure these things are kind of tanky. Yeah, it, it took almost the entire load of rockets to, to destroy that one. Uh, we don't want to engage these things, like close so just hitting it with a long range laser isn't bad but if we can hit it at all it probably means that it can hit us as well oh that was a nasty miss good to go no damage detected i'll push up a little bit but like i said like we're using srm rockets so if we can hit it it can hit us for sure uh, all we can kind of hope is that the cover is and the evasion is providing a, a little bit of protection and if we can take it out i mean it's worth it i think reporting enemy vehicle eliminated we've got long range um lasers here so this will be okay we got a bulldog and a striker i think the striker will be less armored yeah but the bulldog has some better firepower. 
If we hit this thing in the front with all three lasers, we will do 120 damage, which is actually enough. It's just barely enough. Um, let's do a pre precision strike on this thing. If we can hit it, then I think it's worth it. Oh, that could be good. Yes. Okay, good shot. Good shot. I think it was worth using that precision shot. We're gonna take some shots here. There's no really avoiding that. But um, we did manage to, you know, miss a couple of those. Uh, we, we took the brunt of all of that, though. That's not necessarily good. So we're not gonna pull any punches now. We're going in. We're gonna engage what's left. Ooh, a stray shot hit the other one. We did not kill it, though. Receiving you. I'm doing jumps to avoid the um, hazard. Jumping. Please uh, take this out. There we go. And I'm going to go in. Um, I don't want to hit it with the long range missiles. This is a very much an endurance run and I want to conserve some of our ammo if we can. Good shots, but we didn't kill it. So we're going to have to use long range missiles, unfortunately. So how is this thing looking? Its front is pretty damaged. We hit it mostly in the front. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I don't need to do a multi-hit. I'm going to uh, fire on it, but I'm just going to turn off two of our long range. Uh, are we... Do we have line of sight right now, or are those trees pr providing cover? Hmm... Well, that was really unfortunate. I really regret not just hitting it with everything. We're going to take a little bit of damage that we don't need to. But the good news, I mean, there is no good news. I'm just going to go up and kick it. Crunch. Nicely done, Commander. Lieutenant Andrus, your approach to the security HQ is clear. Roger, roger that, Lady Arana. We'll have their turrets under friendly control in just a m moment. Engage the forces guarding that control center. Let's make these turrets count. Now, I actually would have benefited... I should have brought a scout. Because the thing that the scout could do... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking... In, um, what do you call it? Not the locust. Never the locust. But maybe the Jenner would have been good. Because uh, we are going to have to make a sprint for the control center the control center is in the very back and th it, it's gonna suck like this is going to suck there's no getting around that um just trying to see how are we going to get over there this is where we have to go there's the control center there so we just have to go down this road um but if we had a scout th the thing about the command center that really sucks is you basically can't get a bead on it unless you're standing right next to it. So if I had a scout, and I should have brought a scout, then I could have had the scout run through the entire crowd of enemies um, and then have the long-range centurion... Turn those back on so I don't forget. Um, hit it from afar. The sooner we kill the command center, the better. So they're already oh my god we took a headshot really ignore the turrets and concentrate your fire on those battle mechs we must prote protect the control center if our reinforcements can't land we're all dead now fight for the directorate okay so let's have a look here so far right now we've got a jenner a trebuchet we've got a hunchback and a panther I wouldn't mind getting some hunchback parts. And also, we've got over here a centurion, uh, which is nothing no, nothing small either. Um, so we're just going to sprint. The nice thing about sprinting is it will actually uh, provide us with a little bit of extra protection. Oh my god, really? I'm showing minor damage. 
the uh the good news is that you might notice all of those icons those are all turrets we just took control of those turrets they are actually going to provide us with some uh much needed like added offense and i think the best thing about it is that they're gonna provide us with passive um like just wearing down of their evasion so we'll wait probably for the turrets to go which are is at the end unfortunately and then we'll start firing we're just uh trying to build up some evasion we are going to be taking a lot of shots though wow we're just like they're just getting every single shot off aren't they miss that's nice I think that was a large laser. And now it's the turret's turn. And actually, they don't just fire. They also do sensor locks. Which is really nice. Yeah, see that that those uh, that evasion is getting completely melted. Wow, they got a lucky uh crit on the ammo. That's amazing. Okay, good luck. Uh, good shot. Good miss. <sighs> Big simple. Why are you in the back? I'm just going to continue sprinting forward. I feel like the blackjack is the fastest mech here. So the fact that it's in the back is just kind of weird to me. I don't even know if that missed. Those, uh, I, I, I feel like I, you know what? I, I feel like this is an option. I should have checked. A long time ago enemy cinematics melee jump cinematics those are fine targeting shoulder camera normal move attack zoom dynamic attack camera i'm gonna try turning that off and we'll see how that looks for a little bit because i'm getting really sick and tired of not seeing what's happening because it's doing some dynamic flyby it's really annoying um, so we could start, like, Decker is in a short range. We could start hitting stuff. Um, I feel like the Blackjack is the quickest one, but it might honestly be the Shadowhawk. But in any case, he is the, the one that is farthest forward. So I'm going to have him sprint to the command center either way. Uh, I'm gonna have this the this one um, Do some actual damage could hit the Jenner um, Panther's not bad wouldn't mind trying to hit the hunchback since it did just take a nasty blow Let's see uh, it lost a lot of its firepower So maybe not and actually most of its damage is in the back. So maybe I'll try something later um, on the other hand this Jenner has a nice weak point that we could hit Exposed it. Nothing too spicy. We're gonna have to move the long range centurion forward. It's gonna want like this. We're relying on this to uh, hit the uh, the command center. But we are gonna try and do some damage if we can knock some attack. Like some some offense off the field then that is ideal because there's just a lot of it and i think more come in too like this is not the end of it as i understand it ouch 80 damage to the shadow hawk that sucks and it took a support laser Okay, Shadowhawk is actually pretty unsteady. But here comes the uh, the turrets. Nice! It knocked the hunchback over. I might just go in uh, coup de gras it. Coup de gras? Hit it with the coup de gras. Maybe the turrets might actually uh, take it out. Wow, the turrets are really picking on the hunchback really picking on the hunchback i'm surprised it didn't die oh god we got a panther coming in from behind 
did some damage to the centurion okay let's uh do this first wait we can't sprint oh god i, I think that the our instability is making it so that we can't sprint right now that's a uh, kind of a bummer well if that's the case um if i do a movement i'm wondering i wouldn't mind like trying to take out that hunchback or the jenner we'll do a move like this and then uh, i'll shoot at the jenner I'm still doing those zoom cuts. Let me see if I can't. I just, I wanted to do cuts, not fly. Um, <sighs> zoom to new contacts, show UI during attacks. Um, jump cinematics. I'll, I'll try and figure this out later, but right now the camera has been kind of bugging me. We can hit that Jenner. I would really also like to take out that um, Hunchback while it's damaged. Okay, that's the Jenner destroyed. That's something. Let's take out the Hunchback. It's dead. Nice. Mech destroyed. A little bit concerned for a Centurion here. I'm actually going to have them sprint forward. Um, mostly to try and give them a bit of extra protection. They're going to take some damage. There's no avoiding that. But hey, they, they did uh, miss a lot of shots there. That was good. Wouldn't mind getting some trebuchet. Oof, that Shadowhawk's taking some nasty damage. No, 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 no. Okay, this is the, the our turrets. Good stuff. Looks like they're picking on that guy over there, the trebuchet. Is this also a trebuchet over there or a panther? No, it's a panther. Okay, um, we should be able to sprint now. There's a yet another mech over there, a 60 ton. I wish I could jump up here or do anything. I, actually, I feel like if I move... Can't really do a big move there. If I do a move here, I can actually maybe do some firepower. Ugh, the jump is not far enough. I can actually hit something maybe. God, God, this is bad. Okay, I think instead I'm just going to do a jump and uh, we'll shoot this trebuchet and then maybe I can sprint there on the next turn because I don't think I can make it here, right? Oh, actually I can. This will be good because then I can actually start hitting the command center like now. So what is that? A dragon. Oh, God. I hear ya. Okay, so we can start hitting that thing, and we have a 70% chance right now. So we should do that. Oh, so close. I think it... No, it's just barely still alive. God damn it. Okay, what are we doing here? Um, let's pick on something that's being hit. Um, kind of let's like this isn't ideal now, but maybe we can put our back towards You know this Empty zone so that we don't take any shots from the back, but we can hit that trebuchet in the meantime I know we're gonna hit take some hit shots from the back now. We can't really do much about that Let's do another precision shot while we've got got it. Um, I wish I could hit this thing From behind but um, we can't but we can hit that ammo potentially Nope. That's fine. Not gonna worry about the panther. I am worried a little bit about that uh, centurion. Engaging jump 
I'm just gonna shoot it for now. Okay, we got sensor locked and we took a little bit of firepower there. That's fine. Uh, that was actually pretty chill. That's actually totally cool too. We missed a lot of that. And now it's the turret's turn. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit optimistic about this right now. Trebuchet's still taking shots at, uh, in the back, which is nice. Ooh, continues to take shots from the back. Um, turret there. That was a, a curious choice, honestly. Trebuchet is taking a lot of hits. Yes, I know. I listen. If you've been paying attention, you'll see that I did exactly that. Waiting for orders. Okay, I'm actually gonna split our shot here because I I we're gonna hit we're gonna kill this thing no matter what. We got a ninety percent chance to, to to you know hit it. But um wouldn't mind doing some damage to that dragon. <laughs> That's that. Miss Mayor, are you inbound? Roger that, Lady Arana. I'm making an LZ on your screen, Commander. Proceed to the designated coordinates for evac. We're probably gonna have to evac. Wouldn't mind getting some dragon parts. I actually made it quite unstable. Now, Decker. Um, Decker's taking some nasty hits in the front, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, he doesn't have anything in the light the right arm so actually not super bad if he loses it but i'm gonna i am gonna jump away and i think is this um no i would be hitting that trebuchet directly in the front really hard to tell but uh yeah let's let's do that kind of think yeah a move is actually better I, I have to I feel like maybe taking some jump jets off the Shadowhawk might be better. I don't know I have said in the past and I do think that this is still true that doing a small jump is better um, Than having no jump capability. Oh, we actually took it out amazing Mech destroyed. So we're gonna make our way to that evac zone uh, I'm gonna try and take some things out while I do we can potentially try and destroy everything. I'll, I'll weigh the options on that when we get everyone over there. That was some good hits. Ooh, nice. Got the right arm. We'll continue hitting it in the right arm. Kind of wouldn't mind. We have tons of morale right now let's just like hit it in the leg and see if we can't get a knock knockout we got the heat sink but not not really anything else sensor lock that's fine the dragon worries me ooh, ooh, ooh. okay that was a lot of hits we just took a lot of hits from that dragon if the turrets do some nice hits on that dragon i would love to take it out Looks like the turrets are going to pick on the Centurion. Totally okay with that. I'm okay if they, uh, like, take that thing out. Unsteady. Yes. One more? Yes. Panther is a small concern. It's got a PPC. Ouch. Um, so this thing's taken some nasty hits from behind So i'm gonna jump over and see if I can't Continue pummeling it from its from uh, the you know in the, at the back Nice Excellent Okay, um, we can start hitting this dragon I'm gonna continue do it. I'll do a jump around. I'm a little bit worried about this is our right torso. Um, so let's angle our left towards it. That's where we have more armor.
gonna I'm gonna do a precision shot. Oh, we've got a really nice target actually. If we can make it unsteady, I, I might actually be able to knock it over with uh, the centurion. Continue trying to hit that torso. Come on, knock over, knock. Yes, and we we knocked off the arm. Pilot injured. Um, we can hit it while we're in the evac. So let's do that. And we have a ninety percent chance here. So at this point, um, though there is a lot of armor armor on that center torso, I would prefer if we could hit the center torso and get as many dragon parts as possible. That would be a really decent addition to our team. Hoping that the turrets will assist. Ah, oh, that sucks. I didn't. I figured the turrets would get to go before the dragon. Sensors impaired. This is good. Keep hitting it. Smack it. Bully it. Sensors impaired. Good. That was some nasty misses. There we go. Yes. The dragon is ours. So it's just a panther left. Honestly, we just bully it. Just bully it, honestly. It's got a little tiny bit of evasion, so I will hit it with... Uh, I'm just gonna finish what's left over. I don't think that there's any reason we shouldn't. Continue using um, our morale, may as well. Pew, 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 choo, 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 choo. Okay, yeah, nice. Uh, our, our mech is in the way there. So let's, um, get to a better spot there. There, that's a good, not a terrible spot. 50% chance though. That's, doesn't seem great. Head hit, pilot injured. Yay. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to take this thing out. Actually, it occurs to me it might not. Well, I mean, we've done it now. It wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a bad idea to not kill some stuff that we don't want. Like I don't want panther parts, because then it will actually reduce the pool of parts that will be um, kind of gotcha fying. Um, and then we could like cherry pick some dragon parts, but we might also get some like centurion parts and trebuchet parts. I would be I would much rather have trebuchet parts than panther parts. You know. Gun control, this is the Kor Koronok. We've lost you. Loud clanging. Nav support is offline. Where are the damn tugs? Louder clanging. Alarm clacks and begins to blare. Without ground support, their dropships won't be able to make planet fall. They'll be torn to pieces if they try. Congratulations, big simple. Panzer is as good as ours. And we have you to thank for it. Long live House Decimus, and long live the Arana Restoration. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are right now. Mission successful. Easy. Honestly, the first time I did that mission, it felt a lot more tense than this. This just felt like everything kind of clicked into place. Contract payment increased by 50%. Whoa. This thing was already a million dollar uh, mission. So that was just like, that's just fantastic. Um, only behemoth got injured, but only once and our med bay is actually pretty good right now It took a little bit of damage. Um, no one lost any parts Uh, couldn't couldn't be better honestly. Okay. Okay. Oh, we could actually build a hunchback We could build a hunchback and we already have one part for the hunchback Um Okay, we're taking the dragon part for sure. I'll take two hunchback parts. We'll build a hunchback and then I'm going to take that 
um trebuchet part because we are making progress on the trebuchet this is great we're gonna have a hunchback that might replace the shadow hawk are there any other parts that we would like to see get oh my god so much ammo we don't need all that ammo if we get uh if we get some salvage i mean we, there's only one panther part so i mean i wouldn't mind getting the centurion part not really much point in getting the hunchback part except to start building another hunchback And we start building a 60 ton dragon. What did we get? Oh, we got a Jenner part. What is it with this game and giving me Jenners? Stop it. All right. Do a pause here. Um, well, actually, I won't do a pause here because it's probably going to cold open into a cinematic. Oh. Rimward fr Frontier. We've done it. Thanks to your efforts, the Restoration Army has broken the Directorate's hold on Panzer. Lord Pierre Lou, uh, Louis Decimus has already pledged his house and his systems to my service. The Restoration is growing, just as we'd hoped it would. And with this, his support, you gain territory soldiers and a bolstered supply chain. Not a bad deal for you, Lady Arano. Or for House Decimus. The Directorate took a scorched earth approach to Panzer's farmland. Without our ongoing support, the people here would starve. I am uh, not my uncle, Darius. The restoration gives us as, uh, gives as much as it takes. Um, it isn't like you to have much choice. It isn't like you have much choice. Letting them starve would be terrible PR. From a strictly pragmatic point of view, that's true, but I would help these people whether anyone was watching or not. This is what I'm fighting for. Pragmatism be damned. It's a victory, to be sure, but we're still a long way from Coromadir, and Director Ep Espinosa has only just begun to marshal his forces. Things are going to get a lot more difficult as we push forward towards Smithen. The Directorate's military capabilities appear to be out of uh, way out of line with our initial estimates. Somehow they've gained access to weapons and battle mechs that are totally foreign to the Oregon Reach. Where do you think all this hardware is coming from? We don't know how Cispinosa, sorry, we don't know how Cispinosa has always had contacts in the inner sphere. Lady Victoria's personal battle mech is a prototype model that's almost impossible to find outside of the Draconis Combine. But this radical new military buildup is something else entirely. Wherever these weapons are coming from, it's a recent development and a troubling one. Hey, Lord Madeira, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's something here that you may want to see. Actually, you may all want to see this. We found something strange on the Argo's nav computer. Um, I, why don't I like the sound of that? Because your head is in the right place. I found something weird on the ancient ship is what spacers say in horror movies. Usually right before everyone starts dying. <laughs> Game over, man. Back me up on this, Darius. What was the what was the one you made me watch the other day with the drones that started eating people? Count Harutomo de Sorrentalis. These gears are teeth. It's a great film, but that's all it is. It's make-believe, Mayor. Dr. Murad, please tell us what you actually found. Well, I appear to have stumbled onto an encrypted data archive. Somebody hid away, hid it away in the Argo secondary storage drive. That's just my best guess, mind you. Star League era encryption software isn't really my era of expertise. My father spent years trying to figure out how to get the Argo back to Oregon space in one piece. He was obsessed with this ship. He felt that it was important somehow. And now this. I want that archive opened, Dr. Murad. I uh, need to know what's inside. With all due respect, Lady Arena, whatever's on that drive was sealed away for a reason. I've heard enough stories about lost tech treasure hunting to know that it's a bad idea. So why don't we just leave well enough alone? Because this archive could contain something of value, and because, as I previously mentioned, I have a personal connection with this ship. I believe that this discovery is meant to lead us somewhere, and I intend to follow it. Um... It's a Star League era data archive. Of course we should try and open it. I just want to know what's inside. I don't, you know. Damn right we should. You don't just leave money on the table. Anyone could tell you that. Thankfully we can follow this lead and pursue our campaign against the Directorate at the same time. The liberation of House Car uh, Carosas 
on Smithen is already the restoration's next objective. And Lord Simon Carosis has a uh, was High Lord Tamati's chief technologist. Securing the help we need will cost us nothing that we haven't already we weren't already planning to pay. Perhaps this is all just a coincidence, Miss Mayor, but I can't uh cannot help seeing the hand of fate at work here. Mastiff taught me to pay heed to my intuition, and that is what I intend to do. Um why do you think this Lord Carosis will be able to open our archive because he knows lost tech be better than anyone in the reach in the days of my father's reign whenever scraps of forgotten technology were discovered in the reach they'd be taken to smithen for cataloging and study if there are answers to be found we'll find them with him tell me about lord carosis he's a hard man who doesn't suffer fools gladly that said he's also quite brilliant a noble with the mind of a scholar his adult children, Otto and Lena, were much the same. Difficult at times, to be sure, but fierce allies to House Arano. <clears throat> That's the plan, then. After we liberate Smithen, we'll have an audience with Lord Carosis. Yes. And shortly thereafter, we will see if my father's intuition about the Argo was justified. As before, I will contact you when we're ready to move on Smithen. For now, I'll take my leave of you. I have nobles to placate and an army to rally. And you have your own contracts to pursue, I believe. Sure we do, Later, Lady Arano. We're uh, keeping busy, just as you asked us to. You all heard her. We've got some time before the next leg of the Restoration's offense, and our client wants us to make the most of it. Time is money, so let's get back to work. Lady Arano's people scoured the spaceport and found a jackpot, Commander. Decommissioned griffins, lots of them. Well, they'll never get them working with the repair facilities they've got, but between my team and the Arano's mech bay, I think we might. You can find them in the shop here on Panzer. The Hunchback 4G is a tried and tested juggernaut on the field. One of the lightest mechs to mount such a massive autocannon, it is capable of destroying some lighter units in a single volley. It tends to mount heavy armor to boot. Heck yeah, Hunchback! Hunchback? Um, let's have a quick look at the store. They mentioned griffins. Um, not seeing them griffins. Oh, okay, I see one griffin. Don't necessarily want to buy griffin parts. It's a 55 ton mech. Nothing to scoff at for sure. Um, got arm mods. Actuator Actuators control a mech's limbs and are used to perform melee attacks at close, close quarters. All mechs come equipped with stock actuators, can be upgraded for improved performance. These things weigh nothing. So this thing is like amazing. Um, plus 40 stabilizing. Oh, cool. So we could like on uh, like the Jenner, for example, um, put a couple of these things on and then suddenly the Jenner's punching for absurd damage. Absurd damage with uh, support uh, weapons as well. Gyros counteract the massive amount of momentum. Oh, this is just like uh, like uh, defense against stabilization damage. And leg mods for DFA damage. Not sure. I think DFA is when you like fall. Uh, like when you do a, uh, a jump attack. I would really like um, a better AC. But I'm not seeing one. Wouldn't mind buying some parts for this awesome. It's almost a million credits. Uh, we do have some money to burn right now. We've got quite a lot of extra money, so I might do either power systems or honestly, like I wouldn't. I would like to do um, close what was early once a hyd hydroponics facility near the spine of the Argo and a low G gymnasium. They're tantalizing it again. What does this do for us? Barracks support up to 60. Oh, we get more space for mech warriors. Um, plus one morale for 225,000 seems like a really decent deal. Actually, when I think about it, it's not that great, but like it opens us up to the other recreation, which gives us more morale. These ones, they all seem to be 225,000. Um, well, okay. I would like better med bays. What would we do need for the second med base? We require beta pods. Where are the beta pods? 
automation refit training module ah here are the beta pods so we need these in order to get better med bays it would do a lot but it's it's a lot of money to spend on slightly faster med bays so i'm gonna go ahead and get this repair and refit it will help a lot plus two tech points and um maybe our next thing not sure we should we should get some extra some more mech warriors um speaking of which let's see if they have any experience that we can spend yeah okay uh big simple is very close to getting the next tactics bonus Order. as is behemoth uh decker as well yeah they're all pretty close i don't i don't really super want to spend our xp yet it might be worth just like it might be worth spending some on other things like it's you know we could get extra tactics i'm not sure what the extra tactics is going to do but like or we could just get some better base weapon hits um let's have a look at our base i do want to fit that hunchback Let's also just repair our mechs. Okay, it actually comes with an AC-20. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and strip for a moment. I'm noticing... Yeah, we don't have a lot... It didn't have a lot of armor on it. Um, definitely, we're going to put that AC-20 back on. Going to put the ammo in the legs. I think that would be better this thing generates how much heat 24 heat so it's not nothing this thing actually generates quite a lot of heat um we do have some more ac weapons i don't like the fact that we have to put all of the weapons on our right torso it basically means we're completely reliant on the uh torso this AC-5 is 8 tonnage, and then the AC-2s are 6 tonnage. So actually, an AC-5 is basically super worth taking over uh, another, you know, two AC-2s. Um, and we also need to supply us, unfortunately, with AC-5 ammo in order to do that. Like, ideally, I would love to put, like, two AC-5s, and then, you know, we put some ac5 ammo in the legs but then look we're looking at 15 tons overweight then if i hit max armor zero armor not no armor at all so we could do something like this <clears throat> we get some armor back but actually not a lot uh it starts to feel kind of like the ac20 is not really worth it because it's 14 tons it's 14 tons. The AC-10 is... <clears throat> well, we don't know what the AC-10 is because we, we don't have an AC-10 available to us right now. We can't even buy an AC-10. Like, don't get me wrong. The AC-20 is, is going to be worth it. Um, does 100 damage. I just wonder if uh, maybe maybe this isn't our PPC warrior. Like the one I've been wanting to build for a while. Because uh, like we can put those b both on. And it still has room for stuff. So we could put like, um, you know, an AC5 on there. No, that's not really worth it. AC, the, uh, the auto cannons are so heavy. Like these, these PPCs are heavy as well, um, but they we don't need a lot to you know mitigate that. Like we we put on a couple of heat sinks, and then um, we can put a couple of jump jets on this thing, and then like that's that's really it. These things do fifty damage each, and they also um, I believe they uh, damage the sensors. So they're not only pretty decent damage, but they also um, kind of debuff the enemy. But that being said, the ACs are worth it. 
And uh, I mean, this thing is kind of, you know, meant to be an AC beast. Still, I kind of want to try doing a PPC monster like this. So we're going to we're going to try this. It's only two. We only have two weapons. I wish I could put more on, but I think that that's not bad. We'll see if that works. Um, I'm going to sell the Jenner. We don't need a second Jenner. Um, and we'll start looking at contracts. I think we could do a quick contract before we're done here. We have actually quite a lot of pirate contracts right now. We could do a hot landing. What is this? Um, uh, Tundra, which is nice. Currently, we believe they're securing their LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, we'd like you to interrupt them. They're heavily armed, so prepare, uh, expect long, a uh, strong resistance. Uh, you know, one thing I would like to do is I do kind of want to, I should have stopped, uh, let's stop work on the blackjack and refit it. I'm going to take that cockpit mod off. This thing is doing 40, 40, 80, 25, 25, and then small lazy. This, uh, this, the, sh the blackjack is actually doing comparable damage to the hunchback. I actually wonder, I do question whether or not I'm making the right choice on that, uh, on those PPCs. Because though they are nice, I don't know if necessarily they are, like, the best idea. It's just like, like, if I actually want to rig the thing for auto cannons, I can only put on, that's a hundred damage. The AC 20 does a hundred damage and then 45 damage. Okay. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take the cockpit mod off this. That's really all I came in here to do. And I'm going to reapproach the, um, the hunchback for just a moment. We're going to put the AC-20 on it. That's 100 damage. We can't put an AC-5 on it. We can't even really put an AC-2 on it. So I think like it's just the AC-20, like that's it, kind of. Five rounds that may feed multiple weapons. I mean, we'll want to put a little bit more on there. Um, can we put a support weapon on here? Yeah, we can. We can, but unfortunately, the only place we can is in the head, which kind of sucks. Um, because I am going to put the cockpit mod in there. We could put some medium lasers on this thing. One ton each. It's not bad. It's actually, this is starting to look pretty good now. I think this is better. I wouldn't, uh, the only thing is I, I wouldn't mind putting some heat sinks on here, but these are one ton each, unfortunately, and that therefore we lose our armor. Um, we could try rolling like this. We generate 24 heat plus 12 and 12. It's a lot of heat. I won't lie. I'm going to try it without the heat sinks. And if it's really a problem, then we'll, uh, We'll reapproach it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. We're gonna put that there. Um, put this in here. The second bay is going to uh, like act as a standby for now, and then um, you know we'll uh, we'll also reconsider that. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit of time. We don't have to do the next mission with Behemoth. We still have Medusa. Automation is done on the Argo. That's nice. Um, we could do another thing like this. More tech points. It's only 130,000. That seems like highly worth it. Um, we can do uh, improved co power conduits, but it's like 
we don't really have to do this until something calls for it. It does open up certain things in the events, but you know. So, um, we should do the next mission now before the uh, financial report comes in. So let's do this hot landing. Last mech standing. I don't know. I like this. This is like my favorite payout. Honestly, just having one cherry pick really, really does make a difference. So we're going to put Big Simple in the hunchback. And now we have a... Uh, we all have... We, everyone's got a 50 ton mech. This is good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this. Now, if we could get some more dragon parts, ideal. Um, I mean, of course, ideal. The dragon looks really cool, I gotta say. I, I really enjoy... I mean, I, I know it's kind of, like, cliche and uh, maybe even juvenile, but, like, it, it's, a, it's a dragon. It's... Yo, it's a dragon, though. I just like that. <laughs> the aesthetic of even, like, a mech called a dragon is kind of neat to me. Um, it's like, I, I think it's my preferred kind of like mech design. I really do like the ones that just kind of like look like vehicles with bipeds. Um, I still feel like there's gotta be a better idea for like mech designs. Obviously treads are, you know, I don't think that treads are a great idea for mechs because treads are pretty easy to take out, but there's gotta be something better, you know? This is where the satellite pictures showed the hostile lance touching down. Move up and make contact. Let's see what we're dealing with. Expect serious resistance. Okay. After the mission, let's make snowmen. Uh huh. Okay. Well, Medusa's the only one that can only. Well, actually, never mind. Medusa can't take any injuries. Neither can Glitch. So, up, I guess we'll have um, Decker move up first. Confirmed. He's gonna be our scout. Audit. Moving out. Receiving you. Affirmative. Still not seeing anything. We've got a nice bit of uh, a nice bay here. I do love a bay for. Um, Combat you, makes okay. cooling a lot easier. Ooh, okay, we got a commando. Let's uh, let's see what the hunchback can do. Well, honestly, not much. Why don't we have the um, the short range move up and hit it? Because I think it's the evasion that's kind of cutting our uh, damage or our. our our hit percentage in half there. That wasn't great, but it wasn't nothing. Should have, uh, should have reserved, actually. It was a little bit silly. Hmm. Has the commando moved yet? There's one more. Let's just, let's reserve for now. Just see what happens. Oh, there's uh, something over there that we can't even see. We'll uh, have Glitch move over to the left a little bit there and maybe they can uh, hit it. Whatever it is. Yeah, let's hit this commando. Alpha Personally, I feel like that kind of um, angle is much more dynamic than like doing this close up shot. Yo, what is over there? We've got like maybe two mechs over there that we can't see. So we can hit it with the uh, hunchback now. Oh, we missed with everything! Yay! 
I love missing with everything. Yes, Commander. Confirm. Giving them everything I've got. Okay, well we we did we did knock something off. I should probably do, be doing precision shots because I think we're maxed out on our morale. Yo, what was that? Was that me doing that? Ready for orders. Okay, we're gonna back up a little bit. Or maybe we should actually move forward. Yeah, let's move forward. Heading out. Firing a full salvo. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Wow, they're actually they're backing up, huh? So what is that? A Wolverine? We can we can uh bully a Wolverine maybe? But uh, let's let's just take out what we've got so far. All weapons committed. Well, we missed with our AC again. That's to be expected. I mean, that's the the that's the problem with a gun that hits really hard but only shoots I one shot. Uh -huh. let's see, we can't see what's over there still. There's at least one more mech over there that we can't see. Yeah, we're not quite maxed out on our morale, but let's uh, hit something. SRM ammo in the left torso. Let's do it. Ooh. Pretty much hit with every rocket there. And we should be able to take it with, out with a large laser. Nice. There we go. So we got a 50 ton mech over there doing some nasty damage to the centurion but nothing exposed yet we got another 50 ton mech over there no that's a 45 ton mech are we is the yeah, centurion's not exposed wow okay quite a lot more than i thought here Okay, I would really like to hit something with the uh, AC-20. What do we got here? We got the SRM ammo in the right torso. Let's do it. There we go. Nice. Let's just shoot at the Wolverine. I'm pretty sure we'll take it out at this point. Got it. No. Okay. I maybe over, uh, underestimated how much health it had left. We can probably take out that commando. Let's just do that. Nice. We got three mechs coming in. That looked like an AC-20 as well. Yep. And what is that? A blackjack? Why is there so much stuff? God damn. Um, we could hit it in the right torso. Oh, wow. It's pretty much uh, toast. It doesn't have much left. So we just hit it in the, in the in the center torso. We're good. Got a vindicator. Hunchback taking damage. Sensors impaired. Okay, hunchback is exposed. Ow! Oh my god! And uh, oh my okay. Oh, cool. Well, that's really bad. Commander. Okay, yeah, um, the hunchback just took like every attack from like five different mechs.
Okay, we took out the, um, I think that was the Wolverine. Good. Um, can we hit this blackjack meaningfully? It's got some ACs, so we could hit some ammo. Where is its ammo and its torso? Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, we could potentially get a crit on the torso, so let's just go for that. What is that? Stop it. Stop hitting the hunchback. Doesn't deserve it. Warning. Poor hunchback. Oh my god, it's actually like really bad right now. Um, kind of want to run away with the mech, if I'm being honest. I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this way. Uh, we're going to expose our back, but we've got armor in the back. And I'll expose my left side. Actually, my left side is what's in danger right now. My right side to the blackjack, and maybe we can, like, knock it over. Nice! I'm actually amazed that the... We... I, I don't know what we hit. I thought we hit the center torso there. I'm surprised the, the cannon didn't take it out. Centurion taking some damage. Standing, reporting. Major armor loss. Okay, um we gotta do some damage here. We've got mostly just lasers, but we do have some uh LRMs, so we could hit it in some LRM ammo. Let's hit it in that right torso, because if we get a crit... Actually, we don't have any more precision shots left. If we get a crit on that, uh, either the, you know... Yeah, we got an LRM-15 crit. That, that, like, you can just crit the weapon and take the weapon out. Oh no, what are we shooting at here? A hunchback. Blackjack is up. No, please. Don't punch it. Right arm destroyed. God damn it. I might lose the hunchback the, literally the next mission after we got it. Yeah, this this sucks. Waiting for orders. I need to take out that blackjack. Commencing alpha strike. There we go. That is at least something off the field. Enemy down. I think once uh, once the hunchback is back up, I might just take it out of the combat. Because one nasty hit and it, it's going to lose something. Him everything I've got. LRM ammo destroyed. Pilot injured. This is good. This is progress. Stop it! Oh my god! They really are picking on the hunchback. Warning. Armor breached. I'm amazed it hasn't lost something, but it, like one more good hit and it's like dead. Oh my god, did it? It's lost a leg. It's actually lost a leg, so now I can't run away. I can't build up any evasion. So I can try and brace for some damage reduction, but like I feel like at this point I may as well just go for it. What can we hit? We can hit the torso. There's still some LRM ammo in the right torso. Nice. Nice. I don't think we took it out, but we did take out both arms. Wow, I, I have never seen such like ridiculous cherry picking. They they have only attacked the hunchback as far as I've I've seen. 
It's kind of kind of absurd. Coordinates received. Okay, I think we can just kill this thing now. Affirmative. We didn't kill it. Uh wow. Yeah, so we just lost the hunchback. Big Simple is dead. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but like my my terms were clear. If Big Simple dies, I'm loading my game. Um, I I'm not going to I'm not going to take the, the blame on that one. I straight up I'm not going to I, I I really couldn't do much they just I just rolled really unlucky in the sense that the entire enemy team was exclusively only attacking one mech there's like not really much you can do about that um yeah that sucks I will I am gonna try that mission again I might try things a little bit differently but um we'll have to do that in the next episode so uh that just that that's a that's a blow our first loss really um and like i say if if it was someone else like i i i put my main character in the uh in the heaviest mech for a reason and i also you know for two reasons really one to protect them so i don't have to do literally this but also because i want to protect my asset which is my heaviest hit hitting mech um i like it took a lot of hits it took a lot of hits and um i can't really I, like i'm not sure what to say other than that that just sucks but uh either way we're, we're gonna try it again in the next episode and uh if you are enjoying the series you know hit the like button consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy